a private document does not need certification. What we presented are documents within my custody. They are like one, my, my, the, uh, the document that shows that I've, I've been having treatment with the National Hospital since 2004. That's in my private custody, it does not need any certification. Then when I fell from the chair and I gravitated, I had a spinal compression and it aggravated. I had a medical report from the National Hospital, consultants from the National Hospital, who certified and who wrote that I needed a spinal operation. Now let's face it, I am really scared of spinal operation. It can cause a lot of things, it can lead to paralysis, but I've been made to understand that if I do not do that, I'm at very great risk of uh, being paralyzed. I, I believe that the charges that I'm facing today are things that I know that my defense will prove that I'm innocent. So I'm not scared of any, any, any uh, of a trial. Rather, the health is more important because for four weeks, five weeks, and I get healed and prove my innocence is a lot better than risking my life. And that's the doctor's advice. And that's based on a lot of experts that have consulted. I am scared of it. Because of these health reasons, I've abandoned my chosen career and I've decided and opted not to participate in any political activity, including the last convention. Uh, I did not do that because of my health. It's a very serious issue. And I believe that with what uh, the courts, uh, what is going on in the court, uh, between uh, the documents that my lawyers are presenting, that the, the court will come to a favorable decision for me to be able to attend to my health, right, which is very what important. The basis of our objection to the release of the first defendant's international passport is that the ailment he's suffering from is not one that cannot be treated locally in Nigeria. Secondly, they have not placed credible evidence before the Honorable Court to warrant the court exercise discretion in granting their request. You know, the law is that if you are tendering a document before the court, which happens to be a public document, as in this case, the medical reports and other documents uh, on their face emanated from the National Hospital, which is a public institution. Our understanding of the law is that uh, before the court can take it as evidence, those documents have to be duly certified in accordance with the requirements of the law. And in that case, I mean, there was no certification of those documents. So that is the basis upon which we urge the court to refuse the prayers as there is no credible evidence before the court.